Powered by Learfield, this is the Georgia Southern Sports Network. Georgia Southern is on the cusp of not only beating a top 10 team, but also ending an 11 game losing streak against Georgia Tech, dating back to February of 2014. Top of the ninth has arrived. Jay Thompson is pitching for the save to make a winner out of Thomas Higgins out of the bullpen. Eagles 10, Yellow Jackets 6. Before we start the ninth, let's pause 10 for a station ID on the Georgia Southern Sports Network, powered by Learfield. Jonathan Breeland back in our studios alongside Colin Lacey. I'm Danny Reed. 6-7-8 for Tech in the ninth inning. They're 3-0, Georgia Southern's 0-3, but the Eagles have fed off a great crowd at Clements tonight on opening night. First pitch to Reed, a check swing on a Thompson fastball that missed outside. Announced crowd of 2,722. It's been a good one so far. Let's make it a great one. 1-0. Inside corner. Reed tried to lean into it to make it look more inside. Ball and a strike. RBI single for Reed. He is one for three. Also scored a run in the fourth. Grip of the 1-1. Hit hard, but right to the shortstop, Thompson. Fields the second hop off the dirt. Hard throw to Swan. It's one away to start the ninth inning. <laughs> Tex only had the leadoff man on base twice all game. Thomas Ross is getting loose just in case. But Jay Thompson, one of the most likable guys in the history of likable guys, pitching for the second save of his career. Left on left with Colin Hall batting the pitch. Snags the outside corner. Hall hit an opposite field two-run home run in the fourth. He has struck out the other two times. Eagle pitching has fanned 14 tonight, and they're two outs away from a top-10 win. Set 0-1. Hard shot foul into the Eagle dugout at third. Danny Madden went the first three and a third. Thomas Higgins the next three and two thirds. Jay Thompson looking for outs number five and six to finish two innings. His lead is 10-6, 0-2. Clocked over the screen foul just to the left of the plate. Thompson shaded just a bit up the middle from short. Second baseman Cheryl, couple steps to his left. Center fielder Beedier shaded to left center as Thompson untoes the rubber. DeLeo on deck. Nobody on, one out, top nine. 0-2 oh, pitch. Just missed outside. Jay keeps his bearings. Ball in glove, one, two. Hit down the left field line, foul once more. Back injury cost Colin Hall much of last season, played only 20 games. The only fifth year senior on this roster. Coach's son, one, two. Leaned into it, but the breaking ball broke a little bit too much outside, two and two. 153rd career start, but his first career hit was against these Eagles back in 2018. Thompson wants to slam the door up, 10-6 in the ninth. 2-2. Two -two. Chopper pulled towards first base, swan off the line, gloves backhanded. Thompson to cover, beats Hall to the bag. Two outs in the top of the ninth inning. We've said it before with Tech in town, it is not over yet, folks. Our eyes have been deceived way too many times over the last eight years. Fielder, Jake DeLeo. Jake DeLeo is Tech's last opportunity. Georgia Southern can pick up its first top 10 wins as they took down Georgia three times in 2020. Righty DeLeo, the right fielder, sets the bat. First pitch, strike right down Fair Road. This would give this program such a lift after a frustrating weekend in Knoxville. It's a long season. 0-1. Fly ball, right center, well hit. Beedier calls off. In right center, on the track. He makes the catch! It is well with my soul at J.I. Clements. For the first time in eight years, a span of 12 games, the Georgia Southern Eagles beat the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets 10-6.
The number seven team in the country has tasted defeat for the first time this year. Georgia Southern got two in the first, never trailed, struck out 14 jackets. And Noah Ledford provides the punch with three RBIs, coming in as a pinch hitter in the sixth inning. Eagle Nation Knoxville is just a memory. This team is just fine. On opening night at J.I. Clement Stadium, more than 2,700 go home happy. The Eagles beat the Jackets 10 to 6. Ford Clubhouse report begins after this timeout. Colin Lacey will visit with the happy head coach Rodney Hennon, who beats Tech for the first time in 12 tries, dating back to February of 2014. This is Georgia Southern Baseball, powered by Learfield.